and and you have a commitment from us that we will work on we will set something up with and i i know timing is of the essence i i thought i get it i hear it and so we will work on um can i ask who is the best person to communicate with in terms of um scheduling sorry i can't <laughs> Sorry, Probably you. Maybe you may ask why you never contacted us before because I'm absolutely certain this office is aware of this. Mm -hmm. So, I, like I said, in these in, in in situations like this, obviously sometimes families don't want to have conversations with us, and sometimes they do. Um, and in this situation, in every talk, message we and, said we did, and that's why. And I, I and I told you I do that was not passed along to me that there was a request into this office for a meeting. I'm going to have a follow-up conversation with our staff about that, but that's why we're sitting here today is because it was really important for me to be able to sit down with you all here. And I actually, I had another meeting. When I heard that you all were here, I cleared it and I said, I want to meet with this family. I know the governor's not here today, but wanted to be able to sit down with you all and to hear from you while you were here today. And so I will absolutely be having a conversation with him um, later today where I'm going to relate the conversation that we had here um, and talk about what we talked about and then and and we will certainly work on getting a meeting set up with you all um, so that he can hear from you directly. Teresa, when do you go back? I'm not going back until Thursday night. So we need to do this while she's still in town. She's from out of town and she's a very important part of the I moved away two years ago, but I voted for Evers. Mm -hmm. I, I was a union member for the NTEA, mm -hmm. which is very close to his heart. And I'm hard, I feel it's, it's almost personal for how hard I helped knock doors and work for him. I understand. I understand. Where do you live now? In Arkansas. In Arkansas. I'm fighting other battles. Now. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so what I will do is, um, like I said, let me let me get working on this. Okay. Um, can I can I have you write down your contact information Absolutely. for me? Um, Maybe. Let me also say just so you're I writing, have, while yeah. you're writing there that um, I've been doing a lot of reading. Pardon? I've been doing a lot of websites and reading. And I already know that the governor the governor candidates who are coming up are all talking about this. Mm -hmm. This could be the undoing of Governor Evers if this decision to fire this Tate, who obviously didn't sit down and look at anything when they made a decision, they just based it on on some silly criteria which isn't whole. Time long. served. Yep. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's just crazy, but I, I'm telling you, the way things are going and how things have exploded, this could be his under, undoing. Especially coming up on the 25th anniversary of her death. Yep. June 3rd, the day that uh, John Tate II was, um, what is the word that they used in the thing, Teresa? That he was uh, just coming into appointed? Off, mm -hmm. Yeah, off of June 3rd, on the day my sister was murdered. And, 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 and we, we read over Tate's statements, mm -hmm. and I am sickened by them. Uh, he feels bad the victims for the criminals. rights wanted to show pictures of the victims and their coffins and he thinks it's not therapeutic and it's not okay because of what it. it's going to do to the people. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I just want you to know that to this day, and I live in the country in a beautiful, safe neighborhood, mm -hmm. I have to lock my bedroom door. I have my gun on my side, my husband has his, and any little bump in the night, I'm still terrified that someone's going to break in and kill me. I can understand that. Well, she was supposed to spend the night that night. Oh my gosh. And I have to live with that because 